What's going on, people? This is Ty Shirase for Computer Music Academy, and welcome back to Playing With. In this episode, we're going to talk about Volume Shaper 4 by Cable Guys. This is a multi band sound shaping tool. It's capable of side chaining, gating, stuttering, and distortion. The best part, all of these effects are tempo synced. So, with that said, let's get into it. What you have here is a very cool tool. And the best way to understand it is to listen to it. So, I have this beat that I created a little while ago, and I'm actually going to play it while I cycle through all of the presets. Now, what you have right here is the original, of course. But things are going to change very soon. Check this out. Now what I've done is taken the different elements of that beat and track them out into their own clips. And I'm gonna play these clips while I show you the different areas of this plugin. So let's go. So you have your waveform right here. And what's very cool about it is you can actually see all of the transients as they play. So your kick drum, and snare drum are hitting here. Open hat is right there. Very cool. Now, as I said before, this is a multi-band tool. And to get to all of the bands, you just go to this area right here and we're currently on the mid band but you can grab this flag right here open up the low band grab this flag and open up the high band very nice now you can even hit this magnifying glass and zoom in very cool now once you're in here you could actually go down here and you can adjust the band split from 6 to 12 db and let's do that over here as well you can even solo the different bands. You just hit the solo and you click on the part that you would like to solo or listen to. And you can adjust the flags right here. So you can adjust the frequencies of that particular band. Very cool. Almost like a filter effect. I like that. And let's come out of this. Now what you have over here are these different categories with these different shapes. And let's switch sounds, show you what's going on over here. So we're currently in ducking, and these are all preset shapes that you can use. Nice. Trimming. Nice. Of course, you have the basics. <laughs> and next, you have the rhythm, which is very cool. Very nice. Now, I'm going to switch again. And you can come back over here to this area. And this is where you can change between beat sync and hertz sync. So right now we're on beat sync. And I want to switch to this one right here. I want to cycle through these uh, loops right here. This is actually where you set the loop of, the, of the, the shape that you're using. So we're currently on a quarter. You can go up. Got a half, three quarter, one bar, all the way up to... 32 bars. You can also go down. So this is where we started. And pay very close attention to this. <laughs> mm. 
very nice, man. I like this. You can also go back here. Let's go to Hertz Sync. And now you can adjust the speed or the Hertz. And go down and check out the waveform as I do this. And go back up. Yes. Nice lo-fi distortion. That is very cool right there. Let's go back to Beat Sync. One other option you have is going to the actual waveform and you can click and drag to make a curve. You can also click, then right click to make a hard point. Let's take that up. Curve, curve. Right click, our point, very nice. Now what you just saw, I want to bring that up right now. You can go to any of this free area and right click and you can bring up this menu here. So you can actually reverse the axis. You can also randomize the points and get some very crazy things going here. Yeah. You can also select all points, and once you do that, you can grab the top, bottom, sides, or any corner and do this kind of stuff. And you can even drag it. Now it's working like an XY. That is really cool, man. Very cool. And finally, with all the points selected, you can just hit delete and that clears everything up. Very cool. Yeah, dude, this thing is nuts. But as I said before, this is a multi-band tool. And the reason I'm telling you this is because you can do any of these shapes, any of those custom shapes, any of the Hertz beat sync aspects of this particular plugin for every band. Yeah. You can get very silly with this thing. So let's give it a try. And hopefully you notice whichever band you clicked on at that particular point, that's the color that's going to be highlighted. But you still see the other colors of the other bands in the background. That's how crazy this plugin is, dude. <laughs> and actually, that gives me an idea. Hmm. Let's duplicate this. And let's start some stuff up. Silly, can we get? having a little fun right now. Pardon me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got away from things for a little while, but Hopefully you understand the trouble you can get into and the craziness you can create with this plugin. If this is something that you can definitely apply to your music, 
I highly recommend it. You can purchase Volume Shaper 4 from CableGuys or PluginBoutique.com for $40 US. And yes, it is an instant download. On that note, if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for more reviews, tutorials, and exclusive courses, make your way over to ComputerMusicAcademy.com. See you next time.